fast food joints now in some parts of the country, for Christ's sake. Huh? That's great, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's just beautiful. Jesus Christ. And then the housing voucher programs, that's even worse. That's even worse. Let's not even go there. Anyway, uh, John Boner says that uh, possibly not going to be a deal because the House Democrats want to increase taxes, and uh, that they're staunch about it. They're not going to they're not going to budge from it. And I think that's a disgrace. I think these House Democrats uh, need to take their goddamn uh, bureaucratic heads out of their disgusting, clogged up poopers and realize that uh, you can only tax capitalists so much before we take our assets and go to another emerging market. Uh, that's more favorable to our uh, persuasion, if you will, because of our uh, risk and investment, so on and so forth. So I'm going to hear from you. 646-652-4869 is the number to call. Let's take some calls here. Area code 586, you're on the horn. What's up? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, um, is your engineer a racist? Is that a squeaky door or is that a squeaky chair? Uh. Oh man, because if it's a squeaky chair, we know you're a fat ass. But if it's a squeaky door, then we know that your mom came in the room. So which one is it? Which one is it? Five eight six. Don't just sit there like your goddamn little uh, bitch that just got slapped. Why don't you say something? You're an alcoholic. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought, boy. You see what I'm saying? It ain't nothing to put these uh, goddamn youths into uh, lower than leprechaun's nutsack mode. You understand? They ain't got nothing to say. Let me have another drink. Give me another. Give me a drink, engineer, for Christ's sake, man. You're just sitting there with a goddamn. Give me a goddamn drink. Goddamn drink. Goddamn drink and shut up. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, we're talking, and I'm trying to talk about goddamn Barack Obama coming out here trying to act like Henry Clay. We've got John Boner saying that, oh, we're not going to be able to come to an agreement because the House Democrats want to raise taxes, and they're willing to put the United States into default for it, and nobody wants to talk about it, for Christ's sake. I mean, you know, the whole goddamn, not only American economy, but the world economy is at risk here if these assholes in Washington don't come up to some kind of an agreement. So if you're listening to me, if you want to make an impact, all right, if you want to get some lulls or something, why don't you call your goddamn congressman, huh? Why don't you call your goddamn senator? They work for you. They work for you. So why don't you call them up and say, hey, are you going to get your heads out of your goddamn asses and realize that you need to come up with a goddamn agreement? Give me a break. 646-652-4869. We're going to take a couple of more callers, then we're going to move on to the next subject matter. Ah, oh, man, I mean, man. it just it hurts me, man. It just boils my blood, these goddamn soulless cash whores in Washington. I mean, get down. I mean, you've listened to the past couple of callers. You've listened to our future, for Christ's sake. It doesn't look good, man. It doesn't look good, man. I mean... I mean, it hurts, man. It hurts to wake up every morning, for Christ's sake. It hurts to wake up every morning, man. Good God, I'm just... Oh, Jesus Christ, get, get this mic out of my... Get this mic out of my face. Jesus Christ. Let me take a drink here, for Christ's sake. I'm just... It's sick, man. There's no hope, man. There's no hope here. Don't you people out there in the Internet understand that? Jesus Christ. Give me a drink. Oh, give me the mic. Give me a goddamn mic. Goddamn mic. Sorry, folks. I'm just... I just get jaded, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you, if you were the host of this broadcast and got the amount of ignorance, you know, utter bowels of society coming at you with sentence fragments and utter, you know, borderline mental retardation, uh, you'd be a little, uh, you'd be a little upset too. You know, you'd be a little jaded too, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. 
I mean, I, 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 I mean, I try to get up here for three hours. I, I tell you people, you know, just unbelievable insight about finance, about economics, about how to make money. I mean, I can't take this crap anymore. I mean, I'm depressed. I can't take this crap for Christ's sake. Give me a crap for Christ's sake. Jeez. Give me a drink, mate. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, folks. I'm getting off keister here. You know, let me just change the subject matter, and maybe I'll feel a little better. Let me get me one more drink. <laughs> one more, man. <laughs> what the hit your lips? It's so good, man. <laughs> Johnny Walker Blue Label. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about the next subject matter because that will cheer me up. All right, that will cheer me up, and I want to talk a little bit about the greatest state in the world, and I'm talking about Texas, baby. That's right. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Texas because let me tell you what Texas is doing. It's saying no to the federal government when it comes to micromanaging regulation across the United States. All right. And what is causing the big uproar out here in Texas? Well, a freaking light bulb. That's right. A freaking light bulb. That's right. If you are unaware... There are no more incandescent light bulbs. And for you simplistic idiots that don't know what incandescent light bulbs are, well, then Google it up yourself, you morons, all right? Anyway, the federal government has outlawed them. You can't sell them. You're not supposed to have them, so on and so forth, all right? Now, what light bulbs are you supposed to use? Well, you're supposed to use these ridiculous fluorescent lights, which if you happen to break, believe it or not, it's a hazardous material, uh, you know, that you shouldn't breathe in. I mean, you got, it's got mercury in there and all kinds of crap, which are like, what are they, with, uh, six, seven bucks for one of these little fluorescent light bulbs? Or you can go get an LED light bulb, which is just as expensive, if not more expensive, uh, than the fluorescent light bulb. And, I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, why exactly is the government, you know, cracking down on incandescent light bulbs when, guess how much it costs? To buy an incandescent light bulb, huh? Guess how much? Forty cents. Right. Forty cents is how much it costs for an incandescent light bulb, and then you've got the government saying, "No, no, we're gonna we're gonna regulate the mar- we're gonna regulate the market. We're gonna make it illegal to sell incandescent light bulbs, and we're gonna force the American public in a tight economy, in a you know a jobless rate spiking economy." And in a non-job-creating economy, we're going to go out there and force these people to pay nine, ten bucks a goddamn, uh, you know, uh, fluorescent light, LED light, so on and so forth. All right? You know it, and I know it. I think it's a disgrace. Forty cents, all right, is what an incandescent light bulb costs. Forty cents, and the government, the federal government, the one that cares about you. Want you to pay, you know, eight nine dollars for a damn fluorescent bulb so that you can save the goddamn. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What are we saving? Huh? What are we saving? The bulb breaks. Mercury is in the air. You're infecting your family. So that's what fluorescent gives you. All right, LED. I mean, you know, okay, yeah, it's more energy efficient, but it costs out the ass. All right. Well, anyway, out here in Texas, we finally said that the federal government can't micromanage us anymore. We're going we're gonna to keep manufacturing incandescent light bulbs out here. It's getting to the point now where it, it may become a black market product. <laughs> I mean, this may be the equivalent of, uh, you know, smuggling marijuana from state to state. I kid you not. I kid you not. If you buy light bulbs in Texas and you go across Texas lines into the greater United States of America, you could be committing a federal crime, all right? I kid you not. This is how I see it. This is why it's going to go through court systems. It's going to go through a whole bunch of nonsense, all right? Read up for it on your on your own, for Christ's sake. Incandescent light bulbs are going to be like cocaine. <laughs> They're going to be like cocaine. I mean, just imagine you can come down here to Texas, and get 40 cent light bulbs, right? And you can kind of smuggle them up like a mule to like 
uh, I don't know, one of these states out here that are forced to, you know, pay eight, nine dollars a goddamn in, uh, a fluorescent light bulb, go out there and say, hey, I got, I got an incandescent light bulb right here, two dollars, you know, two fifty, three dollars. Here, come on. I mean, you, you understand? <laughs> Incandescent light bulbs becoming cocaine. It'd be great. I mean, only in America. Only in an over-regulated, over-bureaucratic, over-big brother government in our face, America. What do you think about this? Area code 226, you're on the horn. What's up? Uh, I don't really care. Really care that yeah, it's a st- that's such an old prog, it's stupid. 209, what's up? Fuck you, Texas. Fuck you, Yeah, yeah, real funny. Yeah, real funny. Ha oh, ha ha, real funny. Asshole. Seven eight zero. What's up? Shit. Yeah, you're 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 an idiot. Uh, let's take some Skype callers for Christ's sake. Who we got here? We got uh, Owl Mix. What's up? I'm not a racist. That's what's so insane about this. I'm not a racist. That's what's so insane. I mean, first of all, uh, I couldn't understand what the hell you're saying. Second of all, uh, over-modulated bass. Uh, third of all, get a new freaking phone, you stupid milky-licking piece of chicken-eating corn boy crap. Uh, 786, you're on the horn. Hello? Yeah. Ghost. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Nothing much. Um, actually, I have something to say about those incandescent light bulbs. Go for it. Yeah, that, that I mean... I live down here in Florida. I'm using them right now, and I'm in my bathroom. This, that is just the stupidest thing I've heard. I used to live in Texas, and, I mean, I got to say, I love it I, I love it a lot more there than here, but, I mean, that's just stupid. I mean, they're not thinking about the people that have that have the families, and if one breaks, they don't know about it. Did they even, did they say anything about it being, about it being no, hazardous? No, th- this has actually been a law that has happened. I mean, you know, if you're buying incandescent lo- light bulbs right now in any store, they're the last remaining left on your shelf. Uh, this was passed, uh, you know, in, in uh, one of the many bills that were passed during the tenure of the liberal-dominated government when the Democrats had control of the Senate and the House and the presidency, which was after 2008, they passed this crap to where it's illegal. It's illegal to have these. It's illegal to sell them now. And the only thing that you're able to buy legally under the federal mandate, remember, this is a federal mandate. This is, that means that the federal government is forcing everybody in the nation to oblige this, that they need to buy fluorescent, they need to buy LED. And like you said, I mean, what, what, what about people with families? What about people with, uh, you know, uh, that use a lot of electricity, that, you know, that, that bulbs go out, uh, you know, that bulbs get cracked? You know, you, it's a lot easier to go out and get an incandescent 40-cent light bulb, put it in the damn light bulb, and that's all there is to it, as opposed to going down to wherever you're going to get your light bulbs at and paying 8 $9 out the pocket for a freaking fluorescent. It's stupid, man. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me why these soulless cash whores, and, and, and remember, this was initiated by the Democrats, folks. This was initiated by the liberals, by the Democrats. Why they would do this when they're supposed to be the party for the people? Huh? <laughs> I mean, you know, well, what happened? They're supposed to be the party for the people here, and they're forcing the people to be extorted. This is legal extortation. No, uh, exploitation, excuse me. Now, why are they forcing people to buy fluorescent bulbs? Why are they forcing people to buy LED? Well, guess who donated to their campaign contribution account, folks? <laughs> I'm not joking! So this is all because of, you know, a politics and favoritism and cronyism. It's a, it's a disgrace. Anyway, 786, man, thanks for calling, man. Maybe you should come back to Texas. I mean, Florida is literally the colon of America. You know what I mean? I wouldn't take a dirty diarrhea crap in Florida. Uh, area code 403, what's up? You're on the horn. Pinky uh, Pie for President 2012. Stupid brony idiot. All right, did everybody, everybody see my tweet of a brony uh, weekend, for Christ's sake? I mean, that was uncovered to me by a, a listener who tweeted that, and I couldn't believe it. You know, I couldn't believe it. It's it, it just, it's sick. You know, it's just, it's just sick. Sick-ass, brony, twisted uh, ass clowns. You know, uh, borderline, you know, Woody Allen, butt-loving pedophile, for Christ's sake. 
Jesus Christ. Who else we got? 208, you're on the air. Hello. 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 Hello.